Well, um, I came into hip hop quite by chance. I ended up uh, going with a friend of mine to a club uh, where they had matinees um, called Angels. And um, yeah, it was quite strange and weird to just be there all surrounded by all these hip hop cats. And um, I found it quite interesting, the vibe and how people were and um, started to go there quite regularly afterwards. And I also liked um, writing poetry and things like that. Um, and I also wanted to do get up on stage and do my thing there at open mics and stuff like that. And um, it was quite funny, the first time I went up on stage, I actually didn't rap. I think I, um, done a, I sang <laughs> some stupid, <laughs> stupid R&B song. <laughs> Don't laugh. Um, yeah, I think it, it being involved in the whole hip hop scene and and meeting up with all these different people it really um, firstly it got me out of Steenburg and um, not always being stuck there and knowing that there's other things happening outside of the ghetto and that kind of thing. It was nice to hang out with um, guys who also um, spoke about other things besides like, you know, typical um, uh, what guys would maybe talk about in the ghetto or something like that, you know, chicks, cars, girls. I thought they were quite supportive. Um, also, I'm not really very, um, I'm quite more like uh, a guy's girl <laughs> so it was just like hanging out with the brasser <laughs> you know so they didn't even look at me in kind of like like I was different to them or something you know so they were quite supportive and I mean they always used to pass on new music to me and um, also try to tell me okay Maybe you should write stuff in this way or that way or encourage me um, and that kind of thing, you know. Crews, um, it was basically, um, before Gardessa, it was a crew called Special Effects, um, which was um, myself, Festers, um, Marco sometimes done stuff, Alan was part of it. Um, also another MC, Wesley, um, and yeah. And then afterwards, um, I ended up working with Gardessa. And yeah, so it was basically just the Steamer guys and then the Gardessa thing. Um, we ended up working on a, a song for a documentary, O Story, <laughs> and then, <laughs> Um, yeah, we started working together um, on other tracks as well. And yeah, touring and yeah, yes, it was um, a documentary that followed two prisoners who were um, going to be released and um, how they would get back into society again. I don't know if it was just that, I mean, before as well with other crews that I was working with, um, they always wanted to um, talk about social issues and stuff. Um, it was sort of, um, I don't know, somehow, but placed on your shoulders, like, okay, you want to be in the hip hop thing, yeah, you can't just rap about this or that. and. Um, you know, you have to be more socially conscious and I mean, um, the guys always, when they gave me stuff, they were like, yeah, you should listen to this because, you know, this guy talks about this and that and, um, you know, that kind of thing. So you, you sort of felt from the beginning, like, 
okay, I can't just talk bullshit. Um, and yeah, I think working with Godessa also and all the other pro programs that we were then involved in, um, uh, whether it was AIDS or um, other sh social issues and stuff, it, um, we then sort of, yeah, took on those topics in our songs as well.